Welcome to Brooklyn Live. I am here with Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Alex did good. <sighs> Are these birds? <laughs> <laughs> You didn't pay. How much would it have been? It would have been $22. $22. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, sometimes things happen, yeah? Yeah. It felt special, though, because it was an eyebrow bar, and so, you know, they add the bar in there. They're experts. What, they were drinking? <laughs> <laughs> they were drinking that eyebrow bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might have, yeah. Were they, were they drinking? Was there a bar, or was it just called the eyebrow bar? No, it was just called the eyebrow bar. It was called the eyebrow bar. Burn, baby, burn. It's going for now. They burn. It's okay. She still looks great. She still looks great. Honestly. Her hair is a little bit dry. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... We're going to... Some new eyebrows. There's one, and there's two. Justin Trudeau, he's got like false eyebrows. That's not nice. Canadian. A mustache, neither. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Cool handlebar. <laughs> A cool <Okay>. handlebar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. So this is what we're going to do with Alex. We'll do a quick razor lesson, and then we're going to smooth it out, and we're going to make it look great. So it's got a little texture, and it's very A-line. Now, Alex doesn't have, you know, she doesn't have that much here. So we're going to try and keep this length, so it kind of gets that illusion of length. Yeah, it's still going to work. Being the worst. I should, um, I should have just said it was a bird bar. First, it's onions. Uh, oh yeah. Which, by the way, oh, yeah. don't smell onions. like onions. But, um, it does smell like onions, doesn't it? But it's not her. <laughs> did I say it was her? Yeah, you did. <laughs> that was my new thing. Yeah. There's a new soap, onion. It's very popular in France. Onion. onion. It's French. It's French. Onion. French onion. <laughs> Do you wear it this way to the side that way, do you think? I do, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, good. So, let me show you. I'm going to be in Asheville this weekend teaching razoring. So you rotate the blade, or you rotate the handle. V for victory. Place the, ha the ha it right inside your hand. Push. And now there's your blade. And it's just the thumb that moves. We're going to be teaching that if you want to go. I've got two spots left in the class in Asheville. And I'm looking forward to Asheville. Has anyone ever been to Asheville? No? Mm -mm. no. Well, me neither. I hear really good things about it. I hear it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's a cool music vibe. Is it a cool music vibe? Mm -hmm. Good. I arrive late. Saturday night, class Sunday morning. If you're interested, go to erosiopro.com and sign up. Two final spots left. Three hour class with me. 250. Okay, so let's take nice clean sections on a slight diagonal because we're going to make it, well actually on more than a slight diagonal because we're going to kind of diagonal it as much as possible. Ashley says, yay Asheville, only three hours from me. Come on Ashley. So now we're going to look at the angle of the, see the angle of the comb? It's the angle of the fingers. You can see when you put your comb in like so, it can really establish kind of the steepness that you want to get to. We want to be pretty steep so she gets the effect. 
We're definitely changing her hair, which I think is exciting. So now we're gonna use what we call the edge of the blade. And on this, on the left, we kind of cut from the back of the blade out to the, to the front. And on the right, we just use the tip of the blade because it's easier to maneuver. So down and across. Jenny says hello from California. Good morning, Jenny from California. If anyone called Aaron tunes in, let me know. Okay. Jesse Briggs says good morning. Good morning, Jesse. Brian Walden says good morning. Good morning, Brian. Leah says my favorite time is when I have time to watch this education. Well, thank you, Leah. Aww. Thanks for tuning in. We like it every Thursday, 10 o'clock. So right now I've gone from the edge of the blade to the flat of the blade. When you do razor cutting, watch what you've got in your fingers. It's kind of like, that's what you should be looking at, what you have in your fingers, you can see there. See the softness, we're creating some softness right now. You want it to be uh, really precise, even though you're working with a razor. You wanna work with the fine teeth of the comb. So you get the section nice and taut, nice and tight. So you get what I like to call some feedback as the blade goes through the hair, you kind of feel the stroke of the razor. And I like to refer to it as the bite. So it, the, the razor kind of bites the hair and it gives you like a little bit of feedback. What I mean by feedback is you can kind of feel it. You feel the stroke. Working with my razor comb. You know, because she's got, if I cut this to one length, it's gonna look not cool and she does have a lot of hair. So I'm gonna kind of move as quickly as possible. I'm gonna open the blade more and more as I go through the back of the head because otherwise it's gonna end up looking too lumpy. And then I'm gonna use my intuition just to tip in, you see that, just to soften out. So I just make the ends a little lighter, a little wispier. Still long enough that she can pull her hair back and again, it's simple because really it's a razor line, but it's gotta be done well. If you watch the consultation early, you'll notice some of the inconsistencies in the length from side to side. We've had it here many times before where you don't realize what your haircut really looks like until somebody points it out. So she had a little bit of inconsistency, but nothing that uh, we can't kind of work on and resolve. This stage of the game, I'm gonna pull this down and have a look. Pull it in, check the length, check the length. So by pulling it into the center, you get a better balance. Donna and Rose say good morning. Who says good morning? Donna and Rose. Oh, good. Hey, Donna. Rose says I bought your yellow razor. Awesome, Rose. Yellow, yeah, we have a yellow wood one. It's called yellow wood. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? What, what kind of, what, what do you use? Excuse me, I forgot my voice. <laughs> Ricola. Ricola. No. Oh. Uh, what do I use? Um, red, um, the classic red. Classic red. Wow. So we have like about eight different styles of razor. They're all available to see. I got another wave of onion coming in. Can you smell it? I got to get them to fix that. Um, you can see all of our razors on erosiopro.com. Don't forget, we do have a 15% discount code for the next 48 hours. And uh, 48 hours, it's probably hard for you to see there, Rebecca, isn't it? Just get a bit behind my shirt. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> Rebecca, Ooh, you turn into <laughs> Freddie Mercury there. <laughs> She's very Freddie. So, um... We have a discount code. The discount code is SUNNY. You apply the discount code at checkout. And uh, also, don't forget to join erosiosocial.com. Stro says hello from Romania. Romania. We like Romania. You ever been? No. I'd like to go. You should go. Yeah, I should go. Very thick hair. So don't go too thick with your sections. You've got to look for the guide. It's kind of hard to see on a, dark, on a dark cape. But if I lift it out, you should be able to see the line right in here. I'm going to elevate 
so I cannot just see it, I can feel it because when I grab all the hair, I can feel the thickness and I know when it goes from thick to fine in my fingertips. So one of the things that I really love about razor cutting is you really get connected to the feel of the hair. And that's what I like about razor cutting. So you kind of feel it because I'm feeling as I get towards the ends of the hair, I'm feeling that the, uh, the thickness in my fingers is thinner. So therefore I know that I'm at the section. And then what happens is I can kind of feel my hair cut a little bit more. One of the hardest things to teach is feel. So when we talk about feel, it's kind of like your style. It's like your interpretation. It's like, how does your technique deliver? Because obviously you have an idea of what you want to create, but then you also have to create it. So you have an idea, that's your vision, and then your technique is your execution. So, uh, you know, practicing razor cutting really helps you with your, uh, with your technique. Now this is tipping. And that's when I just place the tip of the blade in the hair. Haley says, watching from the Wax Lounge and Beauty Bar. Can't wait for you to oh, come again. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming in May. The Wax Bar and Beauty Lounge. I want to come in May and hang out. I've got a lot of visits I've got to do. So get ready. I want to get a new car today. I feel like I need a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? That's the money. <laughs> I don't. That's the money. <laughs> I'm going to steal it. I'm gonna do a little, you know, job. Okay, well, you know, then if I get a new car, then I can drive, you know? In the new car, it'd be fun. Whenever you get a new car, it always makes you want to drive more, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> can you drive? No. You can't drive? No. Can you drive, Rebecca? Yep. Can you drive a uh, big truck? Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's what I learned on. You learned on a truck? Yeah. Yep. Was that when you was in your troubled youth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you was getting these weird tattoos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that? That's like a big no, crow. Just... Is that a crow? It is a crow. Is it on what? That's on a typewriter. It is. <laughs> is, 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 there a, is there a message to that? No. Nope. There is. <laughs> no, there isn't. There, you it's just, just a crow on a typewriter. I just woke up one day and said, I want a crow on a typewriter tattooed all over my arm. Massive. <laughs> it wasn't massive. It's just my arm is small. Ah. So when he made it, I thought it'd be smaller. But we were like, oh, it's really big. Show the they do, but then they put it on, and I was like, just do it. Uh, Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> just do it. Wow. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, <laughs> says Nurse Alex. Tom says, see you in Asheville. Tom, I can't wait to see you in Asheville. I get in late. You'll probably be sleeping. But early in the morning, I've got to send, I'll send you my itinerary. I think Tom's already in Nashville. I'll send you my itinerary. And keep an eye out if you see any cute girls looking for some models. So you can see it's a little shorter here, longer, longer. And we've worked all the way up the back of the head using my white comb, which is great because it helps you to see kind of a little bit more clearly. And I'm elevating the hair and I can feel the hair disappear. So when I feel the hair disappear, dissipate between my fingers, I'm using what we call the flat of the blade right now. And the flat of the blade is just going to create a lot of softness. Look at how much softness. Can you see? A lot of softness in the hair. And if I comb that out, it's very controlled. If I comb it out, it's very controlled. And you can see the line right here. The reason we have black capes is they wear better in the salon. If you have white capes in the salon, they don't wear very well. Because, uh, you know, when you're doing hair color and stuff like that, you get a lot of transfer. So that's why we always have black capes. I used to have white capes in the salon. It's a mess. So, uh, you know, kind of thinking of the practicality as much as anything else as a business owner. Very, very important. Rick says, what's up, Nick? Hope all is well. What's up, Mr. Rick? Everything is really good. We'll be looking forward to uh, coming out to California again. I'm coming out in July, if not sooner. We're going to be doing a Happy Mondays. 
in, uh, in Melrose at Planet Salon. That's going to be in July. And then I'm also heading down to uh, San Diego. I'm going to do uh, an event on Tuesday evening. So we'll do a Taco Tuesday in San Diego. Yeah. Sick invite. Sorry? Sick invite. Sick invite? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. What does that mean? Sick invite. She likes to. <laughs> Looks like we're going to Portland too. You ever been to Portland? No, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading to Portland, I think, with our dear friends from L'Oreal. So that's something that we're uh, we're working on right now. So hopefully you'll get to see us more on the West Coast as we continue on our journey. We recently transitioned all of our brand over to the L'Oreal family. And uh, we're getting to know all of our new friends. And we've been training with the color. And it's been a lot of fun. And we're excited about what the opportunities for the future holds. Just, and uh, we was in um, Philadelphia on Monday night. My whole sales team for the product, all of our relationship managers. We call them relationship managers. We don't call them a sales force because uh, we want to build relations and we want to help salons become more successful. So we're kind of like business consultants. We're not just trying to do ordering. Yeah, I think when you just do the ordering, obviously some salons like that, but from my perspective, when you work with a Rojo, you get connected to, uh, you know, I think the... Um, the concepts and the ideas, because we run our own salons, we have the same challenges that every salon owner has. And because I'm a hairdresser still behind the chair, there's a lot of relation. Yeah, I mean, obviously people come and go from the Erosio business, and uh, it's kind of interesting seeing how that all works out. But it gives me first hand, a first hand opinion and a good advice mechanism to help fellow salon owners. I notice how I've started to just rotate. I'm pulling everything back and in. And I'm using the tip of the blade. We're kind of in the meat or the fat of the hair right here. This is the back of Alex's hair. She has a lot of hair. I'm, I really want to make sure that this doesn't end up looking like a one length blob on her hair. She's not going to look hot now. She's going to have, you know, a blob and burnt eyebrows. Not going to be good, is it? <laughs> Never gonna get it there. Do you have a boyfriend? No. No. Yeah, well, we'll make sure you don't have a blob. I'm gonna give you a hot bar. Please, please, <laughs> please do it for me. Aaron says, tell Nick hello from his oldest and realest fan. <laughs> I knew she was coming up. What up, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> Ellen used to film me and whatnot to wear. Ah. She was the director. She yeah. says, well, tell him great job, except we could use some more naughties. More, oh yeah, that's what we used to do. This is how they used to do. They used to look to the side and go. <laughs> <laughs> and then they piece it all together, yeah? yeah? yeah. And they get some jazz hands. They say, do you do jazz hands? <laughs> jazz hands? And they give me the jazz hands. <laughs> she says, sends her love. Good, thank you, Ellen, for checking it in, checking us out. Blue capes for TV, though. Blue capes for TV. I think that's a good idea, Erin. See, so there's the director always thinking. Always thinking, yeah? <laughs> always thinking. She says, yes, well done. <laughs> well done. I might have someone to rent your apartment, Erin. Still gonna rent it out. That onion smells making me feel ill. It's pretty strong. It's strong, isn't yeah. it? You go home and shower. <laughs> Wow, you didn't realize you was gonna get this kind of uh, hair, it's like a hair cut and attack. <laughs> hair abuse. Aaron says it's available. It's available, good. It's a hair attack. <laughs> All right, so we're almost finishing up the back, right here. And we're gonna transition onto the side. And you'll notice that my razor cutting, it's always, uh, just working with the fingers. So you notice how the wrist doesn't move and just the fingertips move. We over direct the hair back so the hair gets longer towards the front. 
we're not in front we're, we're in front of the mirror but we're not showing her the mirror just because we're trying to get a good angle for the cut and you can kind of see the way that the hair kind of is angled longer so that's the shape so this is going to come down through the side now what i like to do is i always like to do the side closest to the parting first okay so i'm going to come through here I'm gonna take my section, this is an important thing too. I'm gonna to take my section all the way from the back. There she is. There she is. Delicate. <laughs> and we're gonna comb it all the way back over the ear. You get right in behind the ear, comb it all the way back. Keep that angle down and let's work to keep it long. So I'm cutting it across the back. Uh, across her back okay and then this way what happens is is this piece here because you cut it back here gonna end up being nice and long at the front all right so it's kind of a simple shape it's really all in the intention uh, it's all about how much you take out of the hair with the razor that's what it's all about it's about how you kind of work through the hair Work cleanly, very, very important. Combing this hair all the way back, fine teeth of the comb. Make sure the comb gets right in at the base. Yeah, so you see how the comb gets right in. I place the comb right on the line. Right on the line, get that razor going, and then just bust it out. Rick wants to know when you'll be in San Diego. Rick, it's going to be in July. The date will go live soon. It's it's the day after my class at Planet. So I think my class at Planet is in the early teens of July. And it will be the Tuesday after the Monday. We're going to do a happy Mondays. I'm flying out. We're going to teach a two-day class, two-day razor class. And then after the two-day razor class, we're also going to be teaching, during that time, American Wave certification. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to do a happy Mondays in Planet for West Hollywood's hairdressing crew. And then after that, we are gonna drive down and I'm gonna do a class with my friend Anthony Edge in San Diego. So we're securing a venue right now. As soon as I have it, it'll go live on, uh, on erosiopro.com. I tell you what is happening though, what is happening is my show this year I have an event later on this year, it's called Inspired. And it's a two day event, it's a show for hairdressers, for salon owners, team leaders, it's not a hair show. It's, a, it's an event for hairdressers. It's about inspiration, it's about elevation, it's about education of, uh, of uh, the business. Uh, it's gonna be a, a really intimate crowd 75 people tops it's going to be based in my loca in my tribeca location which will be in full f full swing because we're going to we're evolving uh, tribeca we launch the renovated space which by the way it's very painful going through construction a because it costs you so much b because they make so many mistakes c because you're out of business for a while and it causes a lot of change. And when change happens, people move on and people change. It's like no good thing goes unpunished. And then, um, but it's gonna be based in Tribeca. Tribeca looks incredible. And we're launching that next week. And the show's called Inspired Tickets. We have an early bird ticket price, 1750. So it's a premium price ticket. And that's because it's gonna be a premium experience and when I talk about an experience from the beginning to the end it does not include your travel it does not include your hotel but it does include all of your food and entertainment and it's gonna be pretty spectacular it's called inspired the early bird price ticket 1750 and uh, June 1, the tickets go up to $2,000. So if you're interested, we've already sold 10 tickets. We went live uh, not even a week ago. We've sold 10 tickets already. 
and I know they're going to be in a hot, hot demand. So if you don't want to miss out, check out Inspired and get your ticket early. Wow. You happy? What a difference. What a difference. That's good. It's looking really good. So you see how it's falling down long here? This, we're going to repair that a little bit. I'll do some magic to that in a minute. Let's do this side. I'm actually going to stand right in here because I'm going to put it over the shoulder. Elizabeth, uh, Isabel, I'm losing my brain, my marbles are gone. So you remember I'm going to come all the way from the back. All the way from the back. Section nice and clean. Come it right the way through. Let's get behind the ear first. Keep an eye on your client's head. She doesn't know where to put her hair. That's your job as a stylist. Yeah. Being a hairdresser in today's world, it's not just about your haircut. It's also about how you manage the experience. So I do think it's something that we really have to focus on in our industry. We have to focus on creating the experience. You know, social media has changed the game so, so much. Uh, and you know what? Now everyone's got a billion followers, so it's gonna change it a little bit less. Yeah? And I think we'll be waiting to see what happens uh, in the future. Hairdressing, we've really embraced social media. But I think it's not just about the fantastic color that you might be able to show. It's about getting that great experience for your clients. That's something that we do here. If you're a hairdresser, if you know a hairdresser, you're looking to build a career, you know we are hiring as we launch our new location or our relaunch our location in Tribeca. We're looking for some new people to join the team. We're always looking for people to join the team in all levels and in all positions. Go to careers at arojonyc.com and send us your resume. Don't come here, don't try and join my team unless you want to build a career. It's, for career. it's a career building place. So what to expect when you come to Arojo is guidance and mentorship, leadership, and we're gonna really do our best to kind of instill the, um, instill the things that I believe in, which is hard work, vision, perseverance, having an opinion, trying to work collectively together and we kind of instill those and we'll train, we train, we're big on training, we're a training culture brand, class every single day, you know, so if you're interested, definitely check us out, we'd love to have you. We just had uh, a new person, we've got, we just hired eight new apprentices, we like to call them new talent because we give them the chance really early to start taking clients while we train them. Uh, Olivia, how long have you been doing hair here? Three and a half years. How many? Three and a half. Three and a half years. Clients now, how many clients are you doing a week, do you think? Uh, 15 or so. 15 plus. And you do a lot of teaching, you travel. And uh, what's your work week? Um, it is Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Nice, so you work five days a week. Good person. A lot of people are only mandated to work four, but I recommend if you want to build a successful career, you should work five. All right, now I'm rotating into the tipping. Tipping through the hair with a tip of the blade. Practice really great combing. And I'm holding the hair out like this so I can see through it. Okay, Maria, come on over here, Maria. Let's get you ready. We're gonna get you ready. Come and show us what you are. How tall are you? Five one. You're tall, aren't you? It's cute. Yeah. Did you model? Did you model? Used to be. Used to be a model. Yeah. yeah. What happened? Just grew up. She definitely did grow up. Five eleven. I used to be five eleven. It rains a lot in Manchester. When I was born, I was six foot two, but then it rained, and my mum put me in the dryer, and I shrunk. <laughs> so what are you gonna do with your hair, Maria? Something between these two. So, something between those two. So, asymmetrical. She may be a little bit of a bang, but long, not as short as that. And uh, a little bit longer, I think, on the heavier side. Mm -hmm. 
make it a little bit more obvious. What are we going to shampoo with? Gentle shampoo. Why the gentle? Oh, touch it. Go on, touch it. To switch it up gentle. Tell me about the gentle shampoo. The gentle is really nice and um, silky and lightweight. It has avocado oil, so light, uh, lightly moisturizes without making it too heavy. No, it's a nice thin shampoo. It's an organic shampoo. It's uh, sulfate free, silicone free, sodium laurate free. Let's go and give her a really beautiful shampoo. Use the gentle conditioner in conjunction and uh, hopefully by the time you come back we'll have finished eyebrows i mean alex <laughs> aka the onion lover <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't they're not jokes <laughs> the very poor comments so this is the flood but this is the hardest thing to do so i peel that hair away that's using the flat of the blade we call that planing, and it's the, uh... <clears throat> i got hair in my mouth. You. It's, uh, it's okay, it's clean, it tastes like onions. <laughs> um, planing is where you use the flat of the blade. We use, do it on Advanced or Razor Craft. Razor Craft is our five day intensive class on razor cutting here in our New York Academy. Our New York Academy is, uh, is in Soho. That's where we teach all of our classes from. And uh, it's coming up also, I believe it's coming up in June. So if you wanna come for a five day intensive, come to Razor Craft. If you've never learned razor cutting and you wanna learn it, I've got a great class that I'm teaching, which is called Razor Fundamentals. And that's early May. I think it's May the 10th and 11th or the 11th and the 12th. Something like that, maybe the 5th and the 6th. It's early May. We also have our inspiration class. Right now we have a special deal with our inspiration class for our ambassadors. You know, for ambassadors that are interested in purchasing, we have a special deal for our class. So if you're interested, call us and check it out. We'll let you know that special deal. Being an ambassador is somebody that carries a Rojo haircare. We have about 600 salons in America that carry the product. And we're building our network with that get connected to a Rojo product and get connected to our culture and our education, become part of our family. You can see as I go through with the tip, you can see I'm kind of collapsing the hair. Now it's time for me to come to the front. Let's spin around and let's have a look. She's got shorter pieces around the front and she's all twisted, so let's get you. Okay. Nurse Alex, we've got to get you right. Good. So you see she's got this fallout here. She's got the length here. The length feels pretty good, pretty balanced. I'm gonna come from the front. Okay, so now what I do is I come this way. Come on, start on this side first. I'm gonna pick up my Hydro Mist. It's my lightweight spray conditioner. It's gonna kill the onion smell. Oh my God. There's a cafe next door, it's called uh, Blank Cafe. And they have a vent at the back when they cook. I've got to get it fixed. New York City, baby. <laughs> Ashley says, where are you going to be this Saturday? Yvonne's getting married. Tasha and I are going to be there. Who? Ashley Bennett. Ashley Bennett. I'm going to be in the, on the plane heading to uh, Asheville. Why, where are you guys going to be? It's uh, Yvonne's wedding. Where is it? Is it in Asheville? I don't think so. <laughs> but that's where I'll be, though. Pauline said good morning. Good morning, Pauline. So don't forget, if you do have questions, thoughts, ideas, you can always tune in. You can ask, fire away. Rose says, I wish you had a salon in Palm Beach. I would work for you. Ah, oh, Rose. Maybe one day. Palm Beach. That'd I be was nice. just there in Palm Beach. I, had a I, have a, I actually have a home in South Palm Beach. Oh. Yep. Did you say oh? Oh wow, Shamwell. <laughs> Shamwell, where do you live in Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Whereabouts? Uh, Bushwick. Do you like it? 
Bush Whipples. Yeah, I took used to the uh, subway every hour. Is it slow? Um, I would say, yeah. Coming from, you know, used to driving, you know. Right. Brian Waldron says, best hairdressing fam ever. Hey, Brian, how are you, buddy? Okay, I'll be coming up there soon to New Hampshire, Manchester. So now I'm gonna come through this side. Clip that out of the way. Brian, I heard you took on L'Oreal hair color. Is that right? Somebody told me a little dicky bird, a little homing pigeon or something told me. So what we're doing right here is I'm trying to soften this out. We're gonna try and blend it in. When it comes to styling, we're gonna blow it smooth and we're gonna press it with an iron. It's got a little wave to her hair. It's not uber strong, but there's a little movement to it. But she's shown me the picture and I'm gonna make it look just like the photograph. Derek Anthony says good morning. Hey Dee, how are you? We've got to get together Dee. So arrange some time to talk. I want to talk to you about our events that we're doing in October. Fine teeth of the comb. Side of the blade there. Now I'm going to comb it forward, lift it out. It's customary to find a grey hair, so we just did. <laughs> yeah. And then we're just going to tip right the way in right here, just trying to diffuse the bottom without cutting the corner off because she wants to keep that, that kind of steep angle. And you don't want it to be too steep because if it's too steep, it looks like she's falling down the mountain. Yeah, so you kind of got to get the balance. Get the right balance is the hardest part. Derek says, yes, sir, we do. Can't wait. Yes, sir, we do. What is your why? So the tip of the blade is trying to collapse it out even more. Right the way through. You can smell the onions, can't you? She's hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> Russians like onions. Oh. That's it. <laughs> she, she likes onions. I thought it was the French that liked onions. Because they're famous for French onion soup. What's the famous food of Russia? Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Wow. <laughs> Pota that's how you eat potatoes. A lot of them. Everything's got potatoes. <laughs> yeah. What's your background? Do you have any history? Do you have, like, where's your parents from? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. See, like she said it. Colombia. She said, Colombia. <laughs> She was had a nice accent before, and then when she said, she went, Colombia. <laughs> yeah. Your mom and dad are both Colombian? Yeah? How did they meet? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. I'm going to have to say, I think they both worked at a restaurant. Ah. And what's the famous dish of Colombia? Famous, what's, what's the famous food? What do you eat? What do Colombians eat? Um, I would definitely say empanadas. Empanadas? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, uh, I've never had Colombian empanadas. What's an empanada? It's like a pasty, is it? I think so. It's like a little pastry, is it? Um, it's not really a pastry. What is it? I mean, it's kind of like a corn dough. Um... No, no, I'm going to say first that it's meat. Wrapped. It's meat corn. wrapped mm -hmm. in corn dough. A corn. Uh, With an eight ball in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tipping through the back of the hair. Empanadas. Do you have, where are you from, uh, Malibu. Malibu? I'm from Bolivia. No, um, I'm Dominican Peruvian. Dominican Peruvian. Mm -hmm. My friend Stephen Adams is in Peru. Oh, yeah? Right now. Oh, yeah. that's right. No, I did read that. He's in Peru right now. He's kind of. Is climbing mountains. Is that what they do there? Is there mountains in Peru? There's mountains, yeah, the Andes. <laughs> Andes? Yeah. Is that what called? Yeah. Andes. No, Andes. Andes. Yeah. Is that the mountain range? Mm-hmm. 
So you tune into Brooklyn Live, we're going to teach you the food of the world <laughs> and where the mountains are. Where about from Russia are you from, Maria? So far from Moscow. Not far from Moscow. She's got such a wobbly head, eh? I'm glad she's not in there. You got it? <laughs> Maybe it's me. <laughs> Just tipping through, tipping through the edges, right? Because the hair is so dense. So you just, if you go too deep with the tipping, it ruins the shape. So you really want to just be in the final two inches or so. That means the final two inches where the, the, the end of the hair is. So you'll notice I don't go in here. I go kind of right in the final two inches. Now, product-wise, you know what we're going to use? I'm going to use, we're going to use healing oil. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You got a smoothing iron? Um, I will. Yep. All right, go find one. Okay. Let's get you set up. I'm going to introduce everybody to my healing oil. Sometimes it's good to lift this hair so you can see through it more. Look at the position of where I am. I'm looking right through the hair. You gotta get the judgment right. And then notice how we don't overly wet the hair down. Because if you overly wet the hair down, something I say all the time, what happens is, if it's overly wet, you can't see the natural texture of the hair. You can't see the personality of the hair. Tipping through. You Rebecca, we mound over there and I'm over here. <laughs> you stay there Rebecca, it's okay. You're gonna make me dizzy. Okay. <laughs> Let alone the viewing audience. Brian says, loving the color. Far more support and education with L'Oreal Pro up here. It just made sense for us. Thank you for inspiring us to change. Nice. Some guy's knocking on the door, Olivia. I don't know who he is. Some great situation. Good. I'm glad, Brian. Randy says, hey, good morning, Nick. I'll be seeing you in New Hampshire for Happy Mondays. Excellent. Can't wait to see you. Happy Mondays, New Hampshire. It's going to be a lot of fun. What did you get? Oh, the package from Colombia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Colombia too. You have another Colombian here. We're taking over. From Colombia as well. Feel good? <coughs> you okay? Excited. Yeah? Good. All right. That's great. Yeah. Feels good, yeah? Right, so now what we're going to do is there a fresh blade in the red one? Yes. Excellent job. Olivia? Take that cake away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spray it with a little bit of what we call healing oil, which is my lightweight precious oil. This is it. This is a great product. It's a heat protector. It's a blow dry speeder upper. It's going to help when you put the smoothing iron in. It's going to add moisture to the hair. Even though it's an oil, notice how fine the mist is. It's also going to add sheen. <laughs> You're like that salt guy. What guy? Salt. He takes the salt and he goes. That's right. That's right. That's me. <laughs> Mr. Salt. Salty, Mr. Onion. <laughs> All right. Randy asks, how long was this model's hair before? Did you take a lot of length off? How long was it before, babe? I'm going to say up to here. Yeah, I was going to say up to there. Up to there, I was going to say. Up to there. Yes, up to there. That's what it was. Randy says, I literally just received a retail order of a Rojo products. Unpacking it and watching you be creative. Thank <laughs> you, Randy. Hope you're good. Is that Randy from Seattle? Uh, Randy Eldridge? No. All right. Flat brush. You have a flat brush? Where is it? What does it look like? Okay, it shows. So we're going to send her over there <laughs> to get blow dried nice and straight. This is, we're at this brush, but it's coming in. There's a shipment coming in. So if you want in this brush, there's a shipment coming in. It's a great brush. Great for making the hair nice. 
You go with uh, Malivia, yeah. and I'll bring over Maria. You're tall too, aren't you? And just the heels. Oh, you got the, how tall are you without the heels? Let's see, five seven. Five seven. Oh, you look good. Nice. Here's Wes. <laughs> Never scared at all. <laughs> How tall are you, Rebecca? Five four. <laughs> five four, same as me. I'm five two. Nice. <laughs> all right, so now let's go into our razorly bob with the symmetry. And uh, let's make it great. So you tend to go this way, yeah? Mm -hmm. right. So number two. Randy says he's from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Randy. Nice to see you. I've got a friend out in uh, Seattle for Randy, too. Well, thanks for the support, Randy. We appreciate it. Okay, you're moving around a lot today, Randy. Get closer because the, so the sound is going to be. Like, uh, you're like a machine with us. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for me to squeeze in. Put a little bit of hydro mist in the hair. And he says, I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Randy. <laughs> you love that. She's laughing. Good. Me too. We're all laughing. It's, we never know. In this day and age, I'm just binary. Is that what they call it when you don't want to say I, what you I are? I think so. Binary. I'm binary. Okay, look for the center of the spine right here. And that's going to establish the center back. We're going to cut it just below. Keith's just arrived. Keith's arrived to make you look small. <laughs> How tall are you, Keith? Seven, ten. Look at these friends. I think Keith's six, seven. Wow. Well, he's definitely up six something. I don't know, he just came in with snow on his hair. That's how tall he is. It's hot outside. Oh. Snow on his hair. That took me a minute. Took me a minute. <laughs> Can you hold that for me, please, Maria? Hi, guys. So let's show you how to create a clean line with a razor. That's what we do right now. We're going to go for an asymmetric bob. And um, and then we're going to put like some kind of a face frame kind of wispy bangy thing in. But right now, you, this is the important lesson. Because we're going to come right in here, nice and taut, fingers top to bottom, back of the blade. And see, it's a different piece of the blade moving all the way through. So you see the cleanness of the line? Very clean. And let it get a little longer towards the front. So just have a little bit of wave in her hair. So that's something to be aware of. On this side, we just use the front part of the, of the blade. When you're starting your haircut, take your sections smaller. Take smaller sections when you start. Your sections can get thicker as you go. But when you begin, take smaller sections. And look how skinny the section is. I teach every week. So one of the things that I notice more than anything is the sections are too thick when people start their cuts. So start your cut with a smaller section. Trust me, you can speed up as you kind of get in to the cut. But if you don't start it off well, you're never going to get that foundation that you're looking for. So that's something that I really work towards. Start my hair cut off really well. Once I get the foundation line in, in any haircut, that's my, my highest focal point of the haircut is at the beginning. Once we kind of get set on the road, then it gets a lot easier for me and I can be a little bit more fluid. Razor cutting just helps me with my feel and my fluidity. Helps me to soften my workout. 
Brandy says, do you always just cut with Hydro Mist or do you use anything else? Is Hydro best? 99% of the time, Hydro Mist is my uh, cutting lotion. It's a great cutting lotion. I sell it as a resetting spray. So if a client needs to kind of rework a hair, that's how I uh, sell it to the client. I sell it as a detangler, a lightweight spray conditioner, but I, and I use it throughout my entire cut. What it does for me is number one, it gives the hair a little bit of shine. It gives the hair a little bit of a coating so that the hair doesn't feel too staticky. And then what it also does is it introduces my fragrance of my products to my client. And you know, I always think that the clients like three things. They're looking for the problem to solve. They're looking to see how the fragrance is. And then they're also looking to see finally what the cost is. Orogio products are very, um, I like to call it prestige, but very accessible. Products range from $19 to $29 in price. So it's a good mid-range mid price point, which doesn't scare your clients away. And it's been developed as a professional brand and I've had it for 10 years. So you can see how skinny the sections are. Her hair's the thickest right here. You can see the curl just kind of jumps in. So fine to keep it nice and taut. Look at how open the blade is. When I talk about the blade being open, I talk about it's the movement of the blade in the hair. So when we talk about an open blade, what that means is I'm moving the blade up and down a lot. And that's going to remove and reduce some of the thickness and some of the bulk. Brandy says, my clients always comment on how shiny their hair is and I only use a rojo. They love it. I love that, Randy. Yeah, we do have uh, beautiful products developed with seven different chemists all made in america we work with the best of the best and the reason why we have so many different uh, brands that we work with as in uh, different chemists is because i like the variation and i try and get to the specialists who's special at making aerosols who's special at wet pores who's special with shampoos and when you change the chemist, you always change the foundation of the formula. So it gives up my product line, my product range, it gives me a lot of variation. So you, there's always something that someone can find to fall in love with at Erosio. Rotating the blade around, a little tipping. Still keeping the sections nice and skinny. You can see this is very common, the curl texture through the back. A very common thing. Straighter through the top, curl more on the, on the underneath, especially through the middle back. So I'm not working with the curl because I'm not. It's not going to be curly. It's going to smooth out a little. We're not going to blow dry with the brush. We're going to kind of work it. We'll see what happens. The Hydro Mist is a great product, and I like to work from wet to dry as much as possible. So don't forget you can see me this weekend in Nashville or I'll be in Charleston. We also have a Razor Fundamentals class coming up. I'm going to be teaching the class this weekend in Charleston. If anyone's interested, Rojo Pro is where you go. I'm teaching Razor Fundamentals here in New York, early May. So if you want to learn razor cutting, and it's going to be taught by me day one, taught by me day two, taught by Luna. Great education. Also, with the relaunch of our Rojo Tribeca, we are looking for new employees. So if anyone's looking to build a career, or have a career change, then definitely connect with the Rojo. We've got great opportunities for travel, to build clientele, an abundance of new business walking through the door. We have high traffic locations, Tribeca, Soho, and Brooklyn. So it's uh, a great place for you to build. And if you're interested in the change, you want to join my team, just uh, reach out to careers at Erosio NYC.
later on this year we have our special class. It's in August, it's called Boot Camp. It's our four week intensive. It's an amazing program if you're interested. It's a great finishing program. If you're finishing school and you want to polish up your technique, it's incredible. A four week intensive at the Erosio Academy. You kind of get embedded into the Erosio brand when you come to boot camp. And it's very exciting. You can check out all the information on erosionyc.com. We also have a thing called Bite Size Boot Camp. So if you want one of the weeks, you can just take a bite. So you can take Bite Size Boot Camp or you can embed yourself for the full month of August in Erosia, which I can't think of a better thing to do for your career. Spend the, a month in New York, yes it comes at a cost, but think of the experience and think of the skill that you'll learn spending a full month uh, in our academy here in New York. Don't forget we're a great place for uh, education, for, uh, to become a hairdresser. We have classes starting every month. If you want to learn hairdressing, get connected to uh, get connected to Erosia. We have two schools, one in Tribeca and one in Soho. Make sure you use the fine teeth of the comb, especially where the hair curls a lot. This is a very open stroke now, working through the back of the hair. It's a very open stroke, which means that we're putting in a lot of softness. I mean, you don't want to look too thick. So you'll see how we just comb that down, just have a look and see the shape. And then I like to move a little. I like to move all the way up the back of the head. Get all the back done first with this technique. Then I can move into the sides. And then I can start to look and see how the hair's interacting with Maria's features. So there's the blurred line, it's right there. There's the guy. And I'm just going to add to that blurriness, that kind of soft, sketchy softness. Turn the hair slightly back, so the hair gets longer towards the face. You see how I just lift it, just to have a look after every cut. And lift it to see. I've been in the salon for the next three days teaching and I'm doing clients. And I continue to keep an eye on the progress of my uh, of my new sal of my newly renovated salon in Tribeca. I'm excited for that. I got excited for the first time yesterday because I can actually see the um, I can see the process. I can actually see it kind of starting to come together. Looks like uh, Malivia went with my white comb, so I'll switch to the red. Flat clean the blade. Now, if you're interested in razor, this is our signature Arojo Red Razor. If you're interested, we do have a special discount code on erosiopro.com the 40 hour 48 hour discount code and the code is sunny because today in New York it's nice and sunny that's some amazing uh, razors handcrafted wood razors we also have some amazing scissors we have our new 6 inch a new six inch shear, which is pretty phenomenal too. Left handed, right handed. We work pretty much with BMAT shears. They're out of Japan. When it comes to scissors, we want Japanese steel. And we also want them to be handcrafted in Japan. Randy asks her head at an angle the entire time of back cutting. Yeah, because what happens is, Randy, I'm dipping the head in so I can get a very flat, smooth surface. When the head's up like this, it's hard to get the tension. So with the chin just down, it just tightens up and it gives me a better chance. It's like a smooth straight line. See? 
like a smooth straight line. Notice also how my fingers are resting right here on the spine because I want to keep myself nice and steady so my tremor doesn't come out. You like that, Rebecca? No. You like that little tremor? It's, it's an 80 year old disease that I have. You have an 80 year old disease? Yes. You're tremoring. <laughs> Brian wants to know when New Hampshire Happy Mondays is. I think that's in, uh, I think that's in June. Let me do this. I'm going to clean my car. Will you just talk away there? Talk away. Oh, yeah. Talk about what? My tremors? <laughs> there you go. I want my razor comb because it's not as good without the razor comb. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you scared? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Good. So, how do I miss? Dampen the hair up. Okay, just the side a little. Now we're going to take a section just like we did before. Take a section all the way from the back. And keep it clipped in nice and clean. And comb it back and comb it back. Keep it long towards the front. The other side's going to be longer. We're going to go for a little asymmetry. It's kind of simple. Let the razor do the work. When you get good skills with the razor, it really takes your work to another level. I started cutting first at the Galsasurian scissors only. And then after 10 years and I left, I started to explore with some other techniques. I'm glad I got that discipline. Because the discipline made me a better scissor cutter. It's dead easy to cut corners. We have a saying, cut hair, not corners. When you cut hair, you cut hair well. Be focused, be proud. Be in it to win it. In. Looking for the thickness of the hair, look at the direction, combing the hair back, making sure not to gouge or take too much space, and keep it very fluid. Maria has a lot of hair also. Yeah, two heads of thick, thick hair today. The texture's fine, with a little curl, but she has a lot of it. Look through, look for the guide. So don't forget, if you're in New York next week, next Thursday, around about 8 o'clock, we're going to be having a little soiree in the Tribeca location. If you come by, have a drink with us, come and hang out. It's going to be our soft launch. We're opening the location next Wednesday for the first day of business since 2018. So it'll be nice. We'll send the team back to Tribeca. Who's left? A couple people have moved on. Yeah, that's the problem in today's world. People are too, they just run too quickly. You know? You've got to remember, whatever you do today is going to have a consequence tomorrow. So make your decisions wisely with your career. I think t what's been tending to happen recently is like people are not even honest. They don't tell you how they feel. So I think, you know, it's important when you're working in a place, especially, you know, you have to think you're part of the unit. You know, you're not a stranger on the wall. You're not a visitor. You're part of the, uh, the brand. You really should build a relationship. Everybody's going to come and go. I think the hardest part is when it's just like a complete surprise. So my advice to young people today is uh, if you're not going to be so loyal, don't expect so much. If you want, if you want to be, uh, if you want to have uh, some, you know, kind of career, then go to career. You're the company.
and always think about your obligations. Yeah, we're in the reputation business. The reputation business. And there, there, unfortunately, there's no shortcuts to success. It takes time. Unless you're Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah, there's only too many Justin. That's a pretty nice lens. See in the mirror? It's pretty good. It's a nice lens. Now this side we're going to go longer. And then we're going to do something here. Feel good? All right. You reckon you come around here? Let's get my position right. I think I'll be right. Actually, you know, you might be good behind me. There you go. <laughs> Brian says, I'm never going anywhere, Rojo, for life. All right, Brian. Well done. <laughs> you don't want to oversaturate the hair. You want to see the personality of the hair. If you oversaturate it, it's just going to get too wet. So remember, we take our sections all the way from the back. Zip, zip. Get the clip, clip it out of the way. Clips are available on RogioPro.com. My favorite clips. I like them better than the wireless part. Stronger. I like the, the, the fabric, the plastic. And the wireless pack ones are really nice for uh, dry cutting. They're a little bit more slender, a bit more gentle. But for wet cutting and for thick hair, this has a better grip for me. Turn the hair back. And let's drop it a little longer on this side. Side edge of the blade. I'm going to spin around for a second right here. Lift it up, just going to have a look. Perfect. That's a little visual check. You have to have a visual check. You doing good, Olivia? How's your friend? Is she good? Okay. Fine teeth of the comb. Nice open stroke. And the hair nice tight all the way back. Follow it through. As you get to the top, the hair's gonna get finer. Everybody's hair's finer on the top. So now you can kind of start to take thicker sections. You'll still be able to see and follow your guide. We have a new class, a new class starting on May the 6th. New Cosmo class. And that's gonna be in our Soho school. And then we have a new class starting early April, early June, in our Tribeca school. So hairdressing is a brilliant career if you maximize your potential. Yeah, and it's, a, it's an ever-changing career. I've been hairdressing for 38 years. So it's been one hell of a journey and it's changed. Yeah, I think the age of social media has had a massive impact on the hair business because of the connectivity of hairdressers. And hairdressers are really the great connectors because we deal with the general public. And I think a lot of hairdressers have used social media to showcase their skill, which has enabled hair color to get a lot of attention online. And really, to be honest with you, I think we've kind of forgot about the haircut. So one of the things that you're gonna hear me really talk about a lot is the caliber and the quality of great haircutting and the premium pricing of great haircutting yeah so i do think that's something that is very prominent in my world donna asks i miss the back being cut just want to know since she wanted one side longer did it affect the way you cut the back no you keep the back symmetrical the reason you keep the back symmetrical and from behind it doesn't look lopsided. So it has a more consistent finish. Uh, so you see you kind of keep the back more symmetrical. So you see it's more balanced. And then we're dropping this piece longer. But I'm not using my mirror. So I'll just kind of come back and have another look and see. It's good. I think we're in good shape. Don't forget, let me introduce some kind of something here at the front. It's going to be wild. Get ready. 
I come the set all the way back. I'm elevating too. You're looking for the guide. So as I grab it, I feel it there. I can feel the hair disappear. Super open stroke. Overdirecting the hair back will mean that the hair's getting longer towards the front. It's so all the way back. Final section. So when you touch your when you get your clients, you know, if you're going to move the head around, be kind of firm but soft. You know, you want to kind of, you can, it's amazing the power of touch. You can kind of lock your clients, you know, sometimes you have clients that move a lot. Not that Maria does. She doesn't have the tremors like someone here right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Melissa? I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, now, so you see, this is quite a lot longer. Yeah, but what's going to happen is we're going to put some of that in. So then, what happens is we take that out. Especially I like the sound effects, Jack. No, it's pretty good. Take some of that out. It looks a little bit less. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to introduce something long here, like this. And keep that length. Let's do that. I'm going to need the mirror because you need the space. You need like the distance because when you look from, a, from here you get 8 feet or 10 feet because you've got the distance between you and the reflection in the mirror. That little bit of space is what you need because you know when you're so close sometimes you're too close to the detail. So you're a little bit away from it. Now you have to take it on both sides. So you take a little on this side, and you take a little on that side, and kind of map out, feel the head shape. You can see she's got a little wave here. So I'm actually gonna cut it like this. I'm gonna cut it so that it kind of goes longer for both sides. Keep the moisture in the hair. I'm going to split it on the part. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to kind of approach it in a bit more of a softer, looser way. So it's like the intention. It's the intention, that's what I'm kind of focusing on. You know, when you are cutting hair, you do have to kind of kickstart the imagination. It's a creative process. It's not like... Uh, you know, it's not like building a wall, like one brick on top of the other, that's more craft of like, uh, you know, kind of structure. This is more sculpture. It's more like sketching. So you approach it in that kind of a way. Now this is the flat of the blade, nice and soft. There you go, find skinny sections, comb that hair over. The hair's still a little bit moist. Doesn't look too wet. I don't want it to look wet. I want it to look, this is the perfect dampness. Because I tell you what, I need to see how it's behaving. Now, if it dries off just a little, it's getting warm in here because we're all glass. And uh, Keith hasn't put the air on yet, has he? No. <laughs> put the heat on, are you hot? Yeah, a little. You're sweating. <laughs> it's a bit sweaty, yeah. Yes. So you'll notice it's hard to see the guide here because it's so soft. But I, I just want to kind of keep that softness. It's less defined. Keith? Come over here, Keith. Could you change the light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven. Yes. Six, wow. Seven. You see? <laughs> Could you put the air conditioning on for this kid? Absolutely. Yeah. Now the ceilings in here are about, I think about 20 foot, aren't they? It's about 20 foot. No, it's more than that. Yeah. Is it more That's than a, 20 feet? Uh, it's close, isn't it? 
I would say closer to 24. Maybe 24. I think you might be right. You know, don't you? Because you're closer like, to it. It's like four of me. Yeah, it's four <laughs> of you. That's 28. <laughs> so Keith kind of heads up the, the location here. He's our team lead. We're running the salon. It's great. Ooh, Shem, wow. <laughs> Shemalama. All right, so you can see, notice how I come up with the white teeth of the comb. Yeah, I come up with the white teeth, so I let it live a little. Now it's time for me to put a little bit of texture in. Nice thing about this is it doesn't wet the hair too much. Just gives the hair just a little bit more moisture. So when the blade goes in, just glides away. So it, remember, it's a little free form. It's a little sculptural. It's a little sketch-like. And once you get that feel, you know, that's kind of, when you're not busy, watch other hairdressers work. If you're in the salon, watch other hairdressers work. That's one of the great things about working together. I think the hair business was designed to work together. I don't think we were really designed to work solo. I know people like that because of its flexibility to make money and to be solo. But I think good hairdressing was meant to be kind of, uh, a, uh, you know, you learn from each other. And you stay inspired because you work together. I like the way that's coming out. I like the way that's coming out. I just connected it just very loosely. Now I'm looking here, if I spin around here, you see that long bit there? That's like that long bangy bit right here. That long bangy bit right there. I'm not gonna connect it in, I'm gonna do something different just for the, for the hell of it. Yeah. Again, when you're in the salon, experiment a little, not too weird. What I'm gonna do is, instead of connecting it here, which will just take that corner out, I'm gonna take it a bit shorter in here. A little shorter in here. So then that piece will have a bit more space to move in. Does that sound okay? Sure. Yeah, you feel good about that? <laughs> yeah. It's ready? I trust you. It's ready? It's ready? It's ready? <laughs> yeah. The air's on now. Oh, good. Yeah? You feel good. What happened to my sandwich board, Keith? Broke. The wind. The wind. It's very windy down here on the water. Well, you gotta stay away from those beans. <laughs> okay, so those legumes. <laughs> Windy on the water. You have to fix it. I'll send in the cavalry. I use the back of the blade here. Keep the blade away from the face. Yep, so I keep the blade away from the face. Use the back of the blade. Who's coming in now? Ah, oh, Lucy's coming in. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Lucy, come and share some love. Look at those glasses. Hi. Look, at those, look at those love glasses. <laughs> Lucy, I hear you're going to Long Beach. I am going to Long Beach. Are you going to teach a class there? I'm teaching a class. Where's Where's it? Wait. Do you know the date? The date is May 19th. Is it May 19th? Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty, let me check my calendar. Yes. May yes. 19th. May 19th. <laughs> We're going to learn American Wave. Yeah. We will be, Lucy will be there in Long Beach, California, May 19th. Fabulous. Enjoy breakfast. Thank you. Okay. What'd you get? Some hairy utensils around here. You've got, you've got, <laughs> uh, you have some hairy. What did you get? Um, some lunch, some chicken and rice from next door. Nice. Chicken yeah. and rice is very... Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. So you see just that shot, but then now what's this? Just have a look and see. Yeah, it kind of goes into the space. So I keep that out of the way, keep that out of the way. Yeah, and just keep coming this forward. We're not using our mirror because we're showing you, but you know, it's kind of like the mirror is a really great tool. And I'm just gonna work all the way up, keeping it a little bit looser now. Oh, hello, Emily. How are you? Excellent. First appointment today is uh, 12 o'clock. I actually have a 12 o'clock client. 
Oh. Yeah, so then, but the car's packed right there. Oh, goody. So we can go together once I've finished her. I think she's just getting the front cut. Just a little bit of bang trim. There you go, look at this. See that? That's really a lot of uh, advanced razor work there. You kind of understand what the hair will bear. So what I mean by will the hair bear is like determining how much you can push the, the razor through the hair without the hair becoming uh, like too, too, too busted. And now I'm gonna do just a little bit of channeling. So just a little bit of channeling to keep some of the weight on the top, but still put some space in there. There you go, channel, 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 working through and shake it. And have a look and see what it looks like. You know, you can kind of play with the hair. I'm gonna put the razor down. I'm gonna put the Hydra Mist down. I'm gonna go and pick up my scissor. Right now, I want to kind of get this hair to dry out a little bit more. I don't want this hair to be so wet. Uh, and I'm going to lift it. Fine teeth of the comb. I'm going to lift. I'm going to point cut. Elizabeth asks, what's the difference between channeling and tipping? When you, when you, when you tip, you kind of remove hair consistently. When you channel, you leave chunky pieces and put space in. So tipping is more uniform and channeling is more chunky. So it just is a different, has a different effect. So channeling is like making a big space. Tipping is like making it very diffused, like a fade. Fade it away. Learn both. Learn both. Different textures need different things. Yeah, different textures definitely need different things. Let's put the cake back on uh, onion. Alex, sorry, sorry. You feel good? She's good, she's happy. I like that. So you see, even if she just tucks it behind, it gives her a little bit more of a defined asymmetry. Yeah, yeah, so when it's down, it's not, it's still offset, but not so, so strong. When that goes behind, you get a little bit more of that. And this is gonna shrink up a little bit and move a little bit with the movement. Did you take the white comb? It's back now, isn't it? Products-wise, what do you think we should use here? Are we doing nice and textured? Yep. Um, wave mist and dry shampoo. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> Maybe something to add a little moisture. Better. I don't know. What are you feeling? I'm feeling that I think wave mist is a definite. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little cream. Yeah. That'd be good. The cream whip will give it. What would the cream whip give it? It'll give it the moisture, but it's nice and lightweight, so it won't again, drag it down, mm -hmm. we'll complement the, um, the wave mist and the dry shampoo. You have the diffuser? I do, yeah. Let's get you set up over here. Yeah. Bring the products in. Hinsu says good morning. Hi, I've been waiting for you, <laughs> Mr. Hinsu. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Korea? What have you been doing? He's great, he's so. And Ian says, good morning. Oh, is he alive? He says, to my Twisted Melon Posse from the UK, I've just arrived back from Palma. We'll do catch up later. Uh -huh. Tribeca Salon is looking pretty cool. Yep, Ian, welcome back. What happened to Manchester United yesterday? I'm not coming back to Manchester now for a long time. You better tell Ole to get it sorted. Yeah, losing to those blues. Excuse me, it gives me the blues. So you know what, sometimes you can texturize just like this. 
little bit of just collapse. It's a nice way. When you do this, you kind of cut the ends. When you do this, and I'm moving the scissor, you do that, it just breaks it up. This is a beautiful scissor, by the way. Comes in two sizes. It's the five inch and the six inch. It's the BMAC. It's available on Erosio. Pro.com. And Sue says, I love that discounted long piece in front. Ah. <laughs> yep. Discounted. That's how we do it here. It's discounted. This is discount. Are you married? Me? Yeah. How long have you been married? Eight years. Is he Russian? No. Is he American? Yeah. Are you a Russian bride? <laughs> well, she's Russian. She's got to be yeah. a Russian bride. Exactly. How'd you meet him? Christmas party. I'm a friend. Christmas party. What does he do? Um, LinkedIn. Sorry? He works for LinkedIn. Oh, he works for LinkedIn. Gotcha. Nice kids. Just one boy. Yeah. One and a half. You have a kid? Mm -hmm. One and a half? What's his name? Roman. Roman? Roman. <laughs> What's his last name? Board. What? Roman Board. Roman's Board? <laughs> board? What? B O R T. Oh, board. Yeah. Roman Board. Nice. You gonna have more? I don't know. One is plenty. Okay. At the moment. <laughs> what does your husband think? He wants more. He wants more. He doesn't have to carry, does he? <laughs> hey? I guess not. Those guys. He's got loads of money. Tell them to get loads of money, they're expensive kids. What about you? You want kids, um, Ron Day, Rebecca? No. Uh, <laughs> no. It's not on your radar. No. Nope. Olive? No. <laughs> no. Onion? Far. Oh, she's. she's, she's right. <laughs> Sorry? Very far. Far. Far into the future. Very far in the future. You know what we should do? Let's get the blow dryer here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to blow the bang okay. with the brush. Yeah? And we're going to, and then we'll just diffuse the rest. Sound like a plan, Sounds like a plan. Yeah? I'm going to smooth that out. Let's make it a little bit more special. Yeah? Because you know what? She's special. She's special. Good to do the scissors too. No, you stay there. Stay there. Okay, so we're going to use these two. Wave mist, cream whip. We'll just do a little. You hold my little wave mist, little cream whip. Not a lot. It's going to lock the hair together. It's a conditioning whip. I'm going to just place it in the hair just to give it a little bit more of that languid, loose texture. This will just help to kind of, it's not stiff, it's super soft, it'll just add a little bit of moisture. You can see straight away the texture. And then this stuff here is magic. This is our wave mist, brilliant product, like our beachy wave spray.
And then what we're going to do, smells nice, yeah? So what we're going to do is pass me that, um, let me just dry this front myself while we're here. Yeah, show you. So we're going to use our magic brush. that out you see how you just get a little bit more polish right there okay and that's done just a little bit this side just a little of the runway so just going to diffuse this just a little just toss it out a little yeah I'm just going to lock it in just hardly anything and then we'll just add a little bit of uh, our refinished texture spray I think probably at the end don't you just to bulk it up a little bit you know, the refinish is a great product for adding a little bit more Sometimes when the hair is too clean, it's not as nice. It's better when it's a little bit, you know, kind of lived in. And she's got kind of like that split personality, yeah? <laughs> it's like kind of smoother on the top and a bit twisted on the underneath. So you're just dialing that up. And that's her, she knows. She's a husky. I saw Black Swan. Did you see Black Swan? Yeah. Who does she? Yeah, how about you know that she is? All right, let's leave the ballerina quickly. Let's go. So this was just the heating oil. And it's the heating oil. It's an oil. It's not even. Uh, it doesn't feel oily. It feels like silk. Yeah. I'm just gonna lift it up with a scissor. And then we're done. We're almost finished. So don't forget, if you're still watching and uh, you're in North Carolina or South Carolina this weekend, I'm going to be in Asheville. I'm going to be teaching a class in Asheville on Sunday morning, 9 to 12. And then I'm going to be uh, doing an event Sunday night in Asheville at the Collider. Tickets for the class for 250. Three hour hands on razor class with me. And the Collider tickets are $25. All the tickets available in the Orange Then I'll be heading down to Charleston on Monday. We're doing a Happy Monday to Charleston. Tickets available in the Orange Show. Program, if you're interested. Follow week I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. We've got some amazing guests on the stage with us. Local Honey, we have Jay. We have Rob from Arts and Hair. Ashley from Plum. It's going to be a lot of fun. Erin. Special guest from the business panel. 
you can check out our special guest. She's actually on the front cover of Salon Today magazine. So definitely stay connected. And come and see us on Monday, a week on Monday. In, uh, it's going to be Monday the 6th. Come and see us in Raleigh, North Carolina. Then I'll be in Chicago, teaching class in Chicago. Then we'll be back in Florida. A lot of stuff going on in my world. Again, don't forget next week if you're in, uh, if you're in New York City, you can come and hang out with us at our new location, our newly renovated location. Can get some dry condition. <laughs> the nurse is smart. My nurse never looked like this. My nurse had a moustache. Was it a man? Yeah. <laughs> the first massage I ever had was with a man. I was scared. <laughs> it was a Russian guy. Oh. A massive Russian guy. Well, there you go. Oh. Really? <laughs> Strong hands though, right? Strong. Really got in there? You didn't get him anywhere. Thank you very much. I didn't get him anywhere. I just rubbed my back. Pinsu says, amazing. <laughs> Donna says, thanks, always the best way to start a Thursday. Thank you. This is our dry conditioner. Just add a little in there. We're almost done. We'll get some red wine in a minute. Let's do it over here first. That's enough. Actually, give me that dryer. Take the thing off. This is how we do it. This is what happens in a tornado. <laughs> Sound effects too in the tiny room. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the cow? <laughs> Sounds like a lamb. <laughs> or the <laughs> lamb. <laughs> Silence oh. of the lambs. Quit pro quo. <laughs> Is that what he does? Sure. With his mullet? With that his weird, hair, yeah. With his thing on? What's it called? What's it <laughs> on his head and his face? Like a little. Uh, muzzle? Muzzle, his muzzle. That's how you like it, with a muzzle. <laughs> That's how he likes it. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you're having flower room growing out of your out of your typewriter. Oh yeah, on there's your, all sorts of junk on it. Your fragile little. Looks like you have a lot of meaning. That's a lot. <laughs> there's no meaning at all. I don't know what you're talking about. She was going through a very, she was going through a twisted time in her life. <laughs> yeah, the youth of today. They just whatever goes on, put it on your arm, put it on your leg, <laughs> put it on your neck. Sure. Put the jellyfish on your foot. <laughs> Any tattoos for you, ballerina? No? What about nurse? Tattoo? <laughs> Any tattoos for you, nurse? No, I don't. No, no, no tattoos? I always wanted one. What about you? I'll have one of you. I've got five. Five. Keith, how many tattoos you got? Hey. No. Oh, yeah, there was an ink shortage in, in 2020, in 2018, when Keith got his leg tattooed. <laughs> the longest tattoo. <laughs> All 17 feet of this tattoo. I need a haircut. Can you do it yourself? No. I, I used to cut my own hair. But when it's messy, it's easy to do. When you want it neat, it's not so easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, so you see how we just let that just do its thing. So the nice thing about this dry conditioner, this is great for calming the hair down. So if you want to kind of get that kind of lifting look. It just helps to calm it down. Pull out the texture. You know, we said we were going to use dry, which has got the refinish, but I think the dry condition is kind of nice. Kind of collapses it a little bit more. The dry shampoo is going to give it more texture. Lucy, where are you going to wear your uh, thing, Emma Jane? You going to Mexico? When did you go to Mexico? <laughs> no, this no, it? no, this is it. The other one didn't count because it was a bachelorette party. Oh. When did you go to Mexico? On Sunday. For how long? And then I'm never going away ever again. Oh crap, really? Because I'm going to be a girl. <laughs> how 
Are we in Mexico for? Hello, ladies. Nice to work here. You make money for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Whereabouts in Mexico you go? Um, I'm going to Puerto Vallarta and then Mexico City. Oh. <laughs> you may never come back. Work out my upper. Is that an Indian? Work out my upper. I think so. Work out my upper. Nikki says, no, nothing cuts our amazing super transformations. Who said that? Or both cuts are amazing. Nikki York. Aw, oh, thanks, Nikki York. Nikki York, did you get your hair colored? I think I saw a picture of you get your hair colored. Her picture, it's like really orange. Yeah, I think it was really orange, yeah. Oh, on her picture's really orange. Yeah, her hair on the picture. Yeah. Well, uh, that's right, she just changed hair. She used to be blonde. Now she's a blue orange. <laughs> What do you think? You happy? Great. Okay, ladies, to the red wall. Come on, you know the drill, you've done it before. <laughs> Stand around here, let's have a look at that finished box. Yeah, gotta feel so tall next to Keith and the Giants here. Goodbye, thanks for tuning in. I just want to show you Rebe Rebecca's. <laughs> what is that? It's a meaningless. Tattoo. What is it? It's a typewriter, it's a crow, and, and, a, a, and a flower, yeah. and a jellyfish. It's not a jellyfish. <laughs> it's a jellyfish. Come over here, Bolivia, and say goodbye. Oh. All right, and there's our beautiful girls. That's Maria. Uh, oh, look, our ballerina. And that's our nurse, our sexy nurse, with her. Uh, oh, do that again, a little. I like the little. The cheek, there it is. Oh, yeah, she's got it. She did good. Whoa! <laughs> we better go now before it gets frisky. Say goodbye, Keith. <laughs> All right, now to turn this off. We'll see you this weekend and uh, wherever we're going to be.